Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from my you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there was a time in the Mount Kenya region during the campaign when they used songs to sell the candidature of William Ruto and popularize for him. Indeed, songs have been used to send a very critical message to a community, to a group of people, and to a society. And I can tell you, the song was all about we wake up and in the morning we go and vote for one William Samoy Ruto to go Kera Tende, something like that. That was the wave in Mount Kenya region. This is what women were told to do. It was a weeping song. It wept majority of these people to vote for one William Samoy Ruto. But things have changed. Now, that was then. As of now, the same song, it has been altered a bit to send a different message to the same people. <laughs> if you ask anyone to go and sing the same song in any platform in the Mount Kenya region, he will be chased like a king. He will be beaten. No one can join them to sing this song. You know, if you try to bring such song as of now, you'll be viewed as an embarrassment and an, uh, you know, a, a betrayal of the community. They can't sing the same song. <laughs> but unless you pay a group of people to do so. But willingly, from your heart, that you're singing this song to embrace Ruto, no, it can't happen. As of now, they are saying that we will wake up in the morning and go and vote out William Samoy Ruto. <laughs> to Karu Te Ruto. So the running call as of now in the same song is to wake up and go and vote out William Ruto. <laughs> Protest vote awaiting Ruto as of now. And Kalonda was in Mount Kenya East. And that is the message they really uh, reminded him about, that it's only time to vote out Ruto. Binduvi Chenjanga. Asante sana. Pwana asifiwe. Ni salamieni hivo. Mkubali salamu za kutoka kwetu nyeri. Sisi ni wale watu ambao waliimba ile kawimbo. Tugo kiratene. Tugo kiratene. Tugo kiratene. Sasa tunaimba tugo kiratene tugo kiratene tugo kiratene tukarute ruto kwa hivyo bishop niko hapa kutubu thambi za watu wa central watu wa central ndio wamekuwa ukisikia maneno ya mlima ya Kenya ni mbaya sio wote sisi ndio tunaanzanga huko na bishop utuombe sana tuko hapa kutubu tunasema hatutarudia tena sisi ni wale watu walikuwa wanasema eh, dhuraku dhuraku kumera kumera na ile hiyo ni kumaanisha dhuraku ni siafu saa hii ile kitu iko dhuraku kwa maisha yetu ni mashida na kilio so i want to uh, really thank you uh, your excellency for coming to Mount Kenya. And we want to say, na nimefurai vile wawe watu wamesema ya kwamba hatuta kuwa wadanganyifu. Kwa sababu, lakini watu wa Mount Kenya isi wadanganyifu sana. Wale watu waongo sana, I think, wanatoka huko kwetu. Lakini mtu urumie, ni wambie. Sisi sana sana, sisi wadanwake wa Centro. Kuna mtu alikuja akaingilia kanisa dirisha. Sisi atuku watu nafikiria atakuwa muongo. 
akaingia sasa huko kwetu akina mama walikuwa nasema ameingia kwa roho sijui kwa matumbo sijui kwa maini lakini sasa tumejua hatujui kwa hivyo tunatubu tafadhali watu wa Mount Kenya East mtatusamehe sisi watu wa Central mtatusamehe wacha nione kwa ishara ya mkono wale watu ambao wametusamehe asanteni sana Mungu awabariki now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers and master thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now the fact is that mjinga akirevuka mwerevu yu mashakani so mount kenya region at one point they view william ruto as the man who is carrying their aspiration as a man who can breathe fresh air into their business as a man who is going to take them to another level of prosperity under his leadership that was the thinking of the majority of people in mount kenya region yes we know about a million plus they had different idea they are asmio and they are still in asmio a million plus but the majority voted the other way as of now if you go and check on that million plus that voted for asmio i think it is heading to 2 million plus the equation in mount kenya region is changing and in this statement you can get the truth you can see how now the the ground is shifting as i said you cannot tell beti maina today to lead the same song she was singing in the previous election and you see the crowd joining her dancing jumping enjoying no it can't happen she cannot get the same you know crowd joining her in pushing for Ruto's candidature using this song this song is no longer being sung in mount kenya region no one the only way that you can continue to this sing this song is when it is altered and you're telling people that wake up in the morning go and vote out ruto that can make sense in the ears of the people as of now ruto has destroyed their businesses through his policies when who was the president many people in mount kenya region who are in business they were coming together you know they contribute money then they import second hand clothes you know electronics many things in a whole container so they can just import a whole container that comes in the country then what happen when your container is here you just pay for the weight of your consignment charges were per kilo now ruto is in power he's telling these people when your container is here it has landed open that container we check each and every item and you will pay according to the quality of the product you brought here kama ni shirt lipa kulingana na quality ya shirt if it's electronics like that so things have changed eh? these people are no longer enjoying profit they were maximizing profit walikuwa na pata faida kubwa beside this there is a lot of taxes they have to pay so these taxes have been to shared between the owner of the business and the customers lazima wa share ndio biashara iendelee so the purchasing power has gone low so in terms of maximizing profit is no longer there they are suffering like any other kenyan he said in a 100 days the cost of living will come down instead the opposite happened the pain doubled so in mount kenya the region is realizing that uhuru was a savior to them if they have to compare with william ruto and therefore the man that uhuru was bringing to them was the right person but not 
This one who came and duped them and got their votes using a back door. So they have suffered enough and they're saying enough is enough. The only thing that can happen is a protest on the ballot. So the same way they woke up early in the morning, they are going to do the same. But now, it will be a protest on that ballot. Wengi watamuka mapema, lakini kile watafana itakuwa kutuondoa ruto kwa uongozi. They might not care who is going to be the president. What they will care is how to remove Ruto from power. And that can happen through the ballot. This song is going to be sung in Mount Kenya region, but the message will be that Operation Ondoa Ruto State House. So the same way people have been dancing, they might dance the same way, but the message will be different. So, things are shifting. Popularity of William Ruto is now demeaning in Mount Kenya because they have realized that instead of Ruto coming up with a new project to the people, he is coming to launch projects that were done and completed by their son, Uhuru Wakinyata. So, the fact is that they voted for a visionless person the only thing he can do or see is to come and remove a plan card on a project that was launched by Uhuru Kenyatta and replace it with his name. And the message is that, uh -uh, who you? The wrong number. We did a mistake to vote for him, but it's time we now vote him out.